super super insane. duper. Well, let's see what you guys vote. thought in terms of uh, community vote. That's uh, I bit of I a harsh reality. I yeah. Unfortunately. But we're very well put. But that being said, that just means there's room to grow for the team. So in this case, they didn't have the stellar performance I'm sure they were hoping for and expecting last week. Mm -hmm. um, this is an even tougher battle. But as I was saying last time, the baptism by fire. In this case, maybe the Nyx wasn't working out. They're replacing him with Tomas. We'll see how Tomas does, if Tomas does well. Even if they don't win this match, that bodes well for them going forward as they can continue to improve from here as they have six months to do so. So, Well, technically five. But yeah, that community vote could shift over time. Though. And maybe a bit less because yeah. like in a month. I don't want to about actually, it. Actually, I'm going to pretend it's like super long. Today is January 14th. In exactly one month, we'll be at the end Ooh, of the third day of group stage for Invitational. It's crazy. crazy. Crazy how nature do that. It's going to be nuts. Oh, Blackbeard, Black. again, banned here. This is no surprise. The Monty, definitely going to be something they do not want to deal with on EG. We'll see what Accelerate's second ban is going to be. Hopefully they've done their homework to know what to ban against uh, Evil Geniuses. Usually that's a Pulse or a Vigil if you want to make Canadian feel the pressure, at least uh, historically that may have changed over time. But Maestro, again, going to get the axe here. Ax me again. Is it going to be Mira? Uh, no. Echo. Ooh. Ooh. There we go. Well, this means the Valkyrie is going to be that much more important, though. Oh, which actually I haven't seen a ton of IQ today. Yeah, definitely something the we haven't seen is. a lot of. Yeah. Definitely a possibility now, though, is uh, you may want to deal with some of those outside camps. Some of those do lead to spawn peaks, especially on the side that is uh, the DJ balcony sort of thing. Tends to lead to that to an extent. And Tomas, hearing your call. Got to be trying to look for them cams if they come in. But so far, they are not showing a Valkyrie pick. They could sixth pick to it. Uh, the uh, real phase is over. And, of course, Canadian not going to stick rook on the dock. clash. But, oh, yeah. damn. Well, starting so they're, they're starting out with the Rook dock. Although, usually, Gotcha is not the uh, the dock. Let's see how this goes down. Hmm. Starting off in Hookah yet again. Seems to be Attackers the popular to starting place here now. Never seen this side ever. They can. Yeah. One thing actually I'd like to, to say, uh, Bio and Achieved actually played um, on EG yeah, with them as a for the qualifier to USM. Speaking of Geo getting replaced, even when it's not. Uh, Canadian and Geo were both replaced for that. And that was the case because, of course, uh, Geo being Mexican citizen and uh, Canadian being. Canadian. Yeah. I, it would be funny if it was the other way around, if Geo was. Is Canada a country? Is it even a country? One of them. A very, very large icy city. Honestly, from the pictures that I keep see, seeing everybody posting from uh, Montreal right now, yeah, it's like minus 15 there. Jeez. I love it. <laughs> the best part is we always do the invitation during the snowy season. Oh, Ooh, Canadian. Making use of that ACOG, but not quite landing enough shots. Hitting the railing quite a bit as well, but didn't seem to matter. But hey, that what better way to uh, punish the new? You, you can say they gave him the cold shoulder. Oh, so sorry. <laughs> How do you even deal? With Being just as bad. <laughs> just the right amount of drugs. Attackers have located a bomb. Well, let's see how they can start out this first round. They're going to have to play things smart here because EG definitely are a, no, a slouch. They've had enough times of losing to aggressive uh, teams that come out of uh, other regions, not in Pro League and things like that, that they should be, in theory, better well prepared for it. And I say other regions and stuff like that. I mean other regions like Fnatic, but ooh, Attackers achieved with a nice kill. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, Attackers appropriately named computer. for that kill. Now, in the meantime, Canadian is going to be looking down from the hookah site, just trying to find a player maybe on the rappel here, not the case. So I won't be able to get anything early on a trade. Of course, we mentioned this many, many times. Trades are very important, especially when you're playing on the defense. Now, there should be an ADS there to protect Young, as it's a bit difficult for him to survive the grenade Ooh. that is thrown in. And the last frag grenade will just be used to destroy the barbed wire. This allow Young to peek in, and Necrox and MVK will find a kill each. A flurry here with three kills, the way of EG. Necrox taking a ton of damage, but it's Crusher and Schlongy. Crushing Schlong. Last two alive here for Accelerate, and they're going to have to speed up their gameplay to win on this one, the headshot. Canadian finished off 2v3. Advantage still for Evil Geniuses. 
As now they can st they have the fuser. That's all that they need. But Crusher again, he'll find it. NVK taken out. Smoke canister will get thrown into the back. Young playing behind his reinforced shield. This Crusher will face the wall of smoke. He can't really find the correct angle on Young as Young will win the duel. And he can go for the finisher, but he waits maybe Shlongi in the back. Has to retrieve that diffuser off of the floor. Or win one. Necros taken out. 1v1 now as Young will destroy. And no, as he goes in for the fight, he has to go for the reload. Shotgun in hand, and there you go. He'll long arm it. Young will find it and clutch the round for evil geniuses. That got a bit too close as Crusher does so much damage on the yeah. Havana. That certainly was a, a very good round. You don't usually see a ton of kills coming out from the Havana players. Usually they're playing a little more safe. But when all your team's dead around you, Kind of gotta 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 bring out the gun there. Yeah. Start doing some work, but not a bad round at all for Accelerate, who brought that very close. We often see the first round or two going a bit uh, worse for some of the stronger teams, as they seem to take that time to warm up, feel out the other team. Might actually take a few rounds to kind of feel out Accelerate, as uh, there isn't a ton of knowledge about them. But as you mentioned, though, Achieved in Bio are a little bit more of a known quantity to these players than they might be to some others, just because they'd played with them in the past during the uh, USN qualifiers. Kitchen going to be the second site here. See if this gets as Attack close. This is going to be a downstairs bomb. bomb site now. So top floor control going to be just as important, but it's not to attack the site itself. And it's not going to be hookah above it. Instead, it's going to be trying to get control of that penthouse VIP Attack theater the kind of area. Of Put some hurt down here. Some slight roll changes on defense. Canadian and NVK, that's the usual Doc Rook combo. Gotcha instead going to be on Jaeger this time. And Young instead of Mute going to be on Legion. Attack not really changing up too much. Shlongi's Ash working out pretty well last time as well. But they were a little late on some of those kills while the rest of their team died. We'll see if Achieve is able to get some shots done above where Young's positioned. So he cannot use that shield to defend. It is a good shield position because it helps him defend a little bit more so against the window because he can extend himself out more around the corner. But also then to deal with that doorway, which so many attackers will run through once smoke starts going down. We saw, you know, Ying Candelas come out, things like that, to try and rush in for a plant once they feel like they have some controls. That's a lot safer approach than delivery. Ooh, Canadian, again using some railings here to his advantage. And again, almost finding bio. He spotted the uh, buttstock of that, uh, of the crossbow. It doesn't stick up uh, as far, I think, as Sledge is Sledgehammer. No, but Whatever it still is a shark fin. It's still fair. <laughs> But, but, oddly enough, he is, oh, he'll go for it, and Bio will win wow. it out. Wow, nice punish. A lot of damage here done to the Capitao still, but worth Canadian. It. Yeah, totally worth it here. You eliminated one of the strongest players on the squad. It's interesting how Canadian has moved on from the IGL role to or the fragging role for EG. It definitely has breathed new life into one of the best players in North America. It's definitely something that uh, works sometimes and doesn't work others. And you definitely see him sometimes dying very early in rounds. He also may be playing uh, quite a bit of Twitch on attack if the last time is any indicated. Yes. It's a good operator, the F2. Pretty good gun, right? Pretty good. And Chief continuing on, going in for the drone. He needs, still need to support their uh, teammates here. Now, uh, a lot of times you'll be seeing a Frost, for example, being played on here. So, yes, he does get played. Achieve just looking on down. Of course, uh, this oh, schlongy, beautiful angle. And VK will get the kill. Now, oh, what, I, what I mean by the frost, just because a lot of times when you're playing in the kitchen, um, it takes so long for the attackers to really find an opening that those traps actually do quite a bit of work. And in this case, they're not going to be uh, any problem. Of course, she's not in here, but Gotcha is the last man alive, and I'll have to deal with the rest and two kills for Gotcha. As he dives in on the outside, tries to fire into the main window, but the goo mines will at least save him from the kitchen pantry for just a second. Peeks out. Is that the IQ outside? I'm not too sure. Well, not just, just moving from the opposite end. Of course, the wall is reinforced, and yes, indeed, it is Thomas on the IQ. Gotcha going in for the full reload. And unfortunately, the, the soft wall set up with half of it being broken apart uh, is really what playing against them. And there you go, Thomas will find it. Gotcha will go down. Bit of a Tom and Cherry kind of moment there. <laughs> what about interesting that round was 
NVK and Canadian both losing their life because it was to a three speed and they were a one speed. Situation where, I mean, first off, a lot of people forget Capitals a three speed. And, yes. And second off, it's just, it's one of those things that they were trying to work angles, but they just didn't have the speed advantage in doing so because you saw both of those come down to just shot getting fired by the three speed attacker first. It's one of those things where, you know, we were talking earlier about the, the advantages of speed and things like that. Definitely something you can exploit if your aim and reactions are on point. You can take advantage of that slight benefit you get. Speaking of Frost, got you actually going to tease it, but switch off to the mute. Uh, Frost, uh, she's just a pretty good operator, actually, bombs have from this situation. Especially on this uh, particular bomb site, you definitely want to usually put a mat somewhere behind the desk or to the side of the uh, door. Situations where when they're trying to run in, they don't really have a lot of ability to look around if they haven't droned it properly. I say it quite often, you know, obviously and of course and these sort of words, but I, I'd like to, you know, spend a bit more time elaborating these, on these things in the future just so, you know, we're all on the same level playing field. And that, I don't want to, you know, take anything in as, oh, this is a Holy Bible truth when in reality, there's a lot of people that can benefit from quite a bit uh, of information here to learn from these players and the way that they do things. So Young, I'm not sure if he's going to run on Black Mirror in this situation, or in specifically this position, which would be very odd, but he's going to fall down. Still has one in his back pocket, and should be running it on the site. Here. Should make a lot of sense. As he's going to destroy the top part of the wall, and then the second one right behind the B site in the kitchen. Very standard so far, just have an extra window upstairs. They'll help the defenders at least maneuver around by giving uh, a bit more information. Just in the, um, the role changes as well, because you have Canadian now, instead of being on the uh, Rook, he's going to be switching over to the Jaeger, taking it from Gotcha and switching Gotcha onto the Mute. Hmm. And it's always interesting, the Necrox will always stick to that smoke. He's been you know, playing it for a very long time. It's like Boonsie. Yeah. They are basically the mirror players on, um, at least on defense for those two regions. The Crusher will open up a wall here with the Xkyros that allows them to look all the way down through the hallway. So will give complete control over to one of the angles that the defenders might utilize to their advantage in a retake or even to get a bit more aggressive against the attackers here. Close angles, but of course the ACOG here will have a clear advantage. Definitely not a position where EG would like to find themselves. Shlongi will get one kill on MVK as he moves in through the security area and will clear it out completely. Usually a difficult position for you to go through. MVK easily dispatched with no damage done to the Ash Shlongi. Well, Canadian does finally take down Crusher, who is on that Type 89 yet again. So that means some extra Kairos off the board. Ooh, but Tomas trading it back and gotcha trading it back again. This is EG, though, in an advantage, finally, and now a two-man advantage. And you saw the mirror window was popped there. Uh, so now this actually works so well in EG's favor. And Thomas spotted there at the end. Canadian making sure the magazine is uh, running and feeding very well. There you go. Feeds it. Uh, yet another kill. Beautiful play there from EG. Kind of completely shifting the way that they were doing things with uh, not only the roll swaps, but just the positioning. It kind of reminds me, the way the Jaeger was played there kind of reminds me of how Joystick would, was running it on Team Empire for EU. Mm -hmm. and just the entire round benefiting from information from his teammates and just moving around the map, constantly being a threat to his opponents. It's definitely something that is uh, very problematic and something ca Canadian's comfortable at, which is why you see him on the vigil, which he may or may not oh, stick yes. to, but he often does he's stick it. He's a great it. vigil. In this case, he's not going to. He's just going to try and get the extra intel of having those cameras we were talking about. So we will benefit from those, but Bio sneak oh. in a little bit of redeemer. Nope, Canadian actually going to sneak to a different mm. Intel-like operator. Although unlike uh, Valkyrie, these do some Defenders damage. Protect your bombs from being diffused by and uh, also prevent you from planting. So some nice extra side benefits. Curious to see if Bio could do uh, half of what Redeemer is able to accomplish with those Candelas. But it is tricky. It's definitely something we used to see a lot more of on this map, mostly from Hungary. Definitely something we've seen uh, some other teams occasionally pick up for different maps. I think at this point, um, Sir Boss has kind of, in my opinion, gotten better than Hungry at the game plan. Yeah, it's interesting since they're on the same team. Yes, uh, and actually, if you, look, if you look at the track record, um, Hungary has been playing a ton less uh, game. He does play more of a dedicated smoke on defense, obviously, but yeah. Um, 
on on the attacking side, it's definitely not an operator he's sticking to too often nowadays. So, uh, in my opinion, still, Sir Boss even finds a different way to run it compared to Hungary. Now, the 612 Ying is definitely a, a highlight, but you know. So it seems like the uh, the the one speed rolls and Jaeger seems to be swapping around a lot because now NDK instead of being on the dock. Once again, swapping with Gotcha in a way, but he's going to be on the Jaeger and Gotcha yep. going to be on the dock. Back in the Jaeger again. And it's certainly well, a case where it's uh, there's a team known to make lots of adjustments round per round as needed based off what they see from the team. So You might say that NVK playing the Jaeger is looking to hunt down his opponents. Yes. Yes. I, 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 know, what, I know what that means. Thanks to Pacific Rim. Drones up and running. It taught me so much. <laughs> That's an all right movie. Mm. Not that great. Not gonna get into it here. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know, Gundam style stuff are not really my thing anymore. Yeah. Anyways, flashbangs coming in here as Canadian will maneuver himself and put himself in to the blue bar. Um, no attacking just yet. As you see, all actually three players turning their eyes onto the opposite end, which gives Necrox the perfect opportunity to strike. They'll find Crusher and rush him to death Attacker here. Losing the Capital means no more smokes. The only two that you had. Canadian setting up goo mines everywhere, but one of them will get shot down by the Ash, which should be more than enough information. Plenty of it for Canadian to realize, hey, Shlong is down here. Let's the just, you know, lurk around. And he does have support of his teammates. Oh. Necrox can, this is something that, um, you know, people should start to know, which is that you can glitch the smokes. Yeah, they can go through walls, and there are situations uh, where you can take advantage of that, like where you see pre-planting right there, because then you could use that when they go for the plant, and that is allowed. Yes. If there was any confusion about that, people wondering, that is something that is allowed, that is situations uh, and where you will see people using that, user. especially now that more people know it's allowed. All right, there it is. There you go. It's right there. Bio will do the damage. And Thomas, flank watch extraordinaire. Gotcha will get shot down. And you lose the dock. Not obviously the end of the world here. Is there's 48 seconds left on the clock. The ADS is really struggling to deal with uh, the amount of candelas that are thrown in. Bio, very low on health here. Canadian. The drop low as well. The Candela will get shot. Uh, Necrox will just turn around. Young will find one, but Canadian is dropped and taken out by Achieve instantly. Refract for 3v3. Schlongi and Achieve will find two, and Necrox will one on Thomas. The most important impact frag in that situation definitely will go the way of Necrox and Young with one more on Schlongi. One more for the cross. Necrox will set himself up with the shotgun. He's got hold of the diffuser, and that's Young to trade against Achieve, but that's all that, that's needed. The round will go the way of evil geniuses. Between Necrox and Young, just such a thorn in their side that round. Ne the way the Necrox was playing so aggressively. You usually see the smoke playing in hookah, but that of course exposes you to that hookah window, which does become more dangerous. So smokes are starting to try and be a little more flexible in how they play in there. His ability to play the bar, which is usually you see someone else playing the bar to help out, but his ability to play it and take advantage of what he could do with the smoke, as well as when he caught them all from behind that opportunity where they were all facing the other direction towards luggage. Just a good catch there and great play from him. Some good strategy coming out for their second attempt. They did win both times, though, on Hookah. It was only Kitchen they have lost so far. So achieved going from one vertical operator to the other, in this case one that can only work downwards. He's going to be going from Buck to Sledgy, the way you both get grenades. Another quote-unquote side grade, as you were saying earlier. So. Yeah, I'm sure with you we can get into the... Uh, details of game design for quite a bit, as yeah. yourself have had just a chunk of experience in uh, making video games yeah. for the kids. Much longer subject than we can get into mid-match. But yeah, it, it is very nice, as you mentioned earlier, to see oh. uh, those opportunities for player choice. That, it might be a little obvious, but I like how it's looking the Actually, exact opposite direction of the roof camera. Because it goes all the way inside, it's the light. Yeah. Yeah. That's, it's true. You can't spot it. It's very difficult. You have to turn around because, but as you mentioned, it's looking the other way. I guess it's a case of. Yeah, yeah, it's true. Because uh, you're not going to be facing Attackers it, which you're not going to be coming to the That's a good point. You're not going to see it because even with the blue light lit up, you're, you're unless you're planting in that one corner. You're not going to see it. Yeah. Very good. Very good. Time to learn it. Everybody check for it when you're playing. Because uh, that's going to be it's gonna be in rank for next week. Well, there is a ridiculous amount of spots, and that's where IQ comes into play, which Tomas has been playing fairly consistently. Oh, yes. Oh, no, speaking no. of the black eye cameras, did not catch that one out there. Bob gotcha appropriately attackers. named. Again. Gotcha. All right. He'll go back up 
the stairs. As in the meantime, EXG and the whole squad is just running around. Thomas in the meantime, taking his time to clear out VIP. Okay, there's nobody in there. You see the reinforcements. No one's sitting by the bookshelf. So maybe it's time for it. We can actually take, go into VIP and be sort of comfortable with any positions or uh, map control that is afforded to us or given to us by the evilest of geniuses. This is interesting that they chose to go to Penthouse before Bar, though, because that's kind of the opposite of what we Oh, oh the run out, he'll oh. get one and two! Oh. Gotcha! We'll finish them off! Bio and achieved! That cam absolutely paying off there. Huge bit of play here. Songy, that was on you to protect them, unfortunately. Oh, no. This is where it all spirals out of control, doesn't it? Yeah, and Shalini might have been on a drone or something at that time. Had not the opportunity to be watching for that run out, but that is the danger of repelling that window. Uh, that, that Lamborghini door is just is difficult. You can't really just claymore the whole thing and hope for the best. But a lot of shots coming down on Young's feet. He'll drop him even. That's a huge bit of play. Crusher's low on health as well. You see Evil Genius is pushing Necrox with one. And can they find the last? Shlongy on his own will have to go through the hallway. He'll find the head of NVK on the Jaeger there, but Necrox is ready for the finisher. And that's all that was required. Evil Genius's beautiful bit of play, all starting off with Gotcha's fantastic two-man runout. This next C4 to kind of... Uh, it's a celebratory it's, firework. It's... <laughs> I'm struggling to, to say this, but like the cherry on top of the cake, but, you know, it's kind of a cherry because there's a red light. Wait, who puts on, it? on top of a cake? Exactly. I that's you mean a, like a cupcake or something. Otherwise, it's just kind of weird. Cherry on a cake? I mean, you could put multiple cherries, but one? Yeah, just decorative. I guess. Hopefully, I know. It, hopefully double functions is like a candle or something. <laughs> I know. In, in your mind, it's like, well, I want to have my cake and eat it. In which I, case, I, I would say, why would you have a cake if you're not planning to eat it? Diabetes. Actually, since you know... Maybe I want to share with, with, with others. As many bombs as can, can you do like these uh, Condorel style of, you know, uh, cakes with like sugar? How do you say Bomb well, like one by attack. Yes. I would, I would, I would I'm, I'm pretty sure there's like diabetes thing cakes. They wouldn't be the same taste. No, it's not. It's not. No. Yeah. I'm cutting down on my sugars. Still get a lot of love though, so it's uh, some sugar. Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. yeah but yeah, you know, you gotta get swole. You gotta look good. Is that R6 fit? Actually, yes, I had so much fun today. So, people that don't know, I don't know if you checked the Rainbow Six um, Twitter the past couple of days. They posted, get fit with Rainbow Six. You know, it's like, hey, whenever you play, you know, hey, you, you're, you're, you were the first to die on your team. Good. Now you're going to do sit-ups for the rest of the round until it's over. And so, you did a lot of sit-ups. <laughs> All right. That's why it works so well. I did that today for two hours, and let's just say I needed a shower out there. Well, in this case, uh, the shower. Mm -hmm. Perfect transition. By. There you go. Right on in pretty much to the shower. But he's going to not really get thwarted too much by that mute jammer. He's able to get all the intel he needs in the room. You see where the uh, mirror is on the other side, on the soft wall. It looked like both walls were soft. Oh, the angle from Young, that almost worked. But he caught onto it just at the right time. Oh yeah, I see the the angle that that is afforded there, and it's a, it's a pretty long range one with a with a you know compact rifle like the uh, Vector, but still you can make it happen. It's actually fairly controllable, uh, yeah. even at range like that. Well, first shot's still gonna be pretty pretty on point. Indeed, in doubt, undoubtedly, indubitably. Well, gotcha. Take advantage of this window that he has here to be able to play this. There, I'm not sure if he knows there's two people there or not, and that could be the biggest problem for him. But they're going to have to come in through that doorway. There's not really much they can do. However, Crusher... Oh, making mute jammers. That. Oh, the mute jammers. Yeah, definitely doing some work. Thatcher, though, there to back it up. Tomas playing something other than IQ actually working out here for him. That's sure. Not up yet. The DMP, oh, beautiful. Thatcher gotcha getting shot down, and there you go. Canadian win another one. NVK will refrag, though, taking down Schlongi yet again. Either the first man to fall or the last one. As Buck now achieved. Happy with the uh, achievements of the team so far in this round. We'll just destroy the board board and have at it. You've earned it. <laughs> Why not? 
Yeah, they're definitely looking pretty good this round. So far, they've only picked up one, So, but uh, this is actually looking doable here. However, the three players that are left, definitely not going to be easy to roll over. A bomb has Plus, been they're uh, looking like they're not exactly sure how they want to attack this yet, from which side. And BK peeking the window. Thankfully for Bio, he has just crouched down enough behind the uh, wall. Chief hoping to catch him with his grenade. Oh, this scares him away, but no damage done. Not a tiny bit. Yeah, tiny, just enough, but... You know, you've got NBK there to heal up as well if needed. And uh, it looks like you might need to as it, Necrox's now down to about 50 HP. Oh, it's all the grenades being used up by Accelerate. We'll have to enter in as the EMP's already been thrown in, as you guys can tell. Ooh, down one. Yeah, he was able to find it, and there you go, Necrox on the floor, and now he pulls out the shotgun. And wants to get closer up, he'll find damage at range as he goes in for the last gas canister in hand. Achieved will come in as MVK will turn into a 2v2. Extra HP is all that's required. Now as Young will turn around and get one. Last is the Capitao, and Young again with a 2k to clean up the round. Beautiful play by Evil Geniuses and EXG find themselves against the wall between a rock and a hard place. Well, it was not a flawless six rounds, but it certainly was fairly close. Oh, yes. They are definitely looking pretty good going into this. Of course, not match point yet, but dangerously close to it. Who could, again, the starting place here for Accelerate. Yeah, I think we're seeing a bit of a pattern here, at least for NA tonight. Uh, yeah, I mean, not everyone. We had uh, one start on Kitchen, one start on Bar, but at least half of the time. Now slightly more than half. So, yeah, it's definitely a popular site at the moment, which is... Uh, it's good to see, because this was actually the least popular site for a while, to an extent. So it's definitely catching up there. Achieved actually going to be sneaking in the Vigil, pretending to be the Doc first. And then Gotcha was actually going to play the Glass in theory, but nope, he's going to switch it off. Jackal not being banned this time will get brought out Attackers need to locate and by Necrox. It's very interesting. I don't recall seeing a lot of Necrox playing Jackal, so this is, uh, at least in my recollection, something newer for him to be playing as. Should be interesting to see how that goes. NBK actually going to be bringing that IQ as well, because uh, like we were saying, with the lack of the Maestro and the Echo, we're probably going to be seeing a lot of Valkyrie, which means, of course, being able to uh, see both of the, or see all the cameras and everything like that, it's definitely going to work out. Yeah, I'm, I'm interested in seeing how Achieved plays this uh, Vigil, though. Yeah, uh, like uh, kind of contrast how things are going with, uh, compared Five to Canadian, seconds remaining. that's for sure. Chief to is managing to sneak around. Their diffuser. Attackers objective is to locate a bomb and defuse it. Canadian the Ash is fairly interesting actually. Um, I know they're putting him on more of a frag role nowadays, but he's played yeah he's played quite a bit of Ash. I mean him and NBK seem to kind of share it. Yeah, I, I think he's been a bit more successful on that compared to NBK. Ooh, as I say that, Chief will find him, and he's not sure about the kill. He's trying to go for the finisher, and no, it's Young to find the kill, as now he holds the angle. And they can, at any point in time, go and pick Canadian up. And there you go. He's back at 50% health. The loss of one and the second here on Bio. Beautiful play from Evil Genius is at Necrox to get on the Jackal. Try to get the angle on the Legion, but fall back for just a bit. Canadian, in the meantime, destroying this off. Well, he is half health, but that is definitely going to start to open up some angles here and put some pressure on. Tomas holding maybe too wide of an angle here with the shotgun. Defender. Tries to chase one. Actually, oh. downs. NVK goes to finish the job at two greedy, gets punished for it, at least does land the kill. Maybe worth it, but that is the smoke down, and now a 4v2, well, a 3v2, really, unless Gotcha gets pecked back up. If he is down, he might have one HP. Hard to see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he can pick himself up. What am I saying? But he'll only be up, you know, for with a bit of health. Canadian should be the one to. Oh, to absolutely. That but, thing. you know, if he needs to, Canadian, though, checking the window first just to be sure. But he's going to get it back up to that 50 HP. So. Not looking great here for staving off match point for Accelerate. Minute and a half left, which is a lot of time, but at least Schlong is able to take down one. Now down to a 3v2. Definitely doable for Accelerate, as uh, these are the two of the players that have been potentially doing the most damage for their team, so the two to be left might make this possible. All right, Necrox picking on the outside here by the fish tank. We talked about the shark in the fish tank. That was marked the shark. Gotcha is setting up as well to use his Gjmots to the other side of the site. Of course, there's a lot of soft walls next to it, so he can use those to his advantage. Smoke will 
a bit more difficult to see through. Shlongi will take a bit more damage here, playing the lesion. Necrox will find the kill on the last one for Necrox as well. Crusher will get domed, and EG very close now to victory. Only one round away. That's uh, not a great spot to be in if you're EXG. Again, I, I want to reiterate something that um, Michael Kix was saying last night. It's like... Yeah, but you're playing against G2. And I want to say the same thing here. Yeah, but you're playing against DG. So how how much can you how much damage can you expect to do? That's the question, especially against a team that is very comfortable playing on coastline, especially on the attacking side. Well, here's the here's the the beautiful thing for Accelerate. This is not a single elimination. This is not a double elimination. This is a double league format essentially, where they get Two chances against every team. They get a lot of time to learn. So what do you do? You play against the best early on. This is actually the best thing they could be doing is Defend playing to the top of the game that they know against the top team in North America and seeing what they learn from it, seeing what works, seeing what doesn't, seeing what they can do better next time. Better now than towards the end. Very true. So this is actually a very good experience for them, whether they win or lose. Skewing a bit towards lose, but neither way... If they can take any more rounds, it's just that much better for them. But it is not the most important thing here. Points are great, but the important thing is not being in 7th or 8th place at the end of Attackers the uh, season. The yeah. As uh, Obey contested. 10 seconds left yeah. before insertion. You know, it, it has to happen to one team in the current format. So. Yeah, uh, unfortunately, um, you know, we don't have more than eight slots. Attackers have recovered their defuser. Nope, but uh, hey, you know, these teams come from Challenger ball. League and sometimes they, they go back. Challenger League. So. We, we recycle them. Mulch them. Right. It is it is Earth year, right? <laughs> we got to save the planet. Right. You only have one planet, right? You only have one Pro League. Captain Planet. Oh, I missed that show so much. I had a friend that his online name was Captain Planet. It was hilarious. I don't know what happened to him. He was a great pilot. Uh, well, that that makes me think of uh, an unfortunate ending. <laughs> All right, well, maybe it wasn't so great of a pilot. <laughs> yeah, maybe, not. maybe he has returned to the earth. <laughs> what goes up must go <laughs> <Right>. down. <laughs> the Challenger League gravity returns. All right. Okay. <laughs> well, gravity will fall here as uh, Canadian will go back on the ash, and he's trying to move through. The stairs now. He's got control of it, and he hears the Jaeger firing downstairs. So, you can find the kill and crusher there. That's exactly what he'll need to open up the site for his teammates. Now, they have to do this as a team, and Necrox takes a ton of damage in the engagement, but more than enough to make things work. And Necrox again, low on health, but he does it again and again and again. How is this man allow you to do so much damage? It's just it's what he's meant to do. Necrox, Mr. Ammar al Banna. Uh, beautiful, beautiful. Just fantastic. I mean, so good. <laughs> well, Necrox, the only one, I was going to say low on health, but he's downed now and young nearly in that place oh. himself, and he's the defuse carrier, so. There you go. Smoke will finish him off, so Thomas will be the one to dispatch Necrox. Young is low on health at the same time. He's got to worry about that. Uh, Chief will bump himself up to full HP. Young might actually consider going for the reset. There is some time left there. He is going to go for that because he is the he was the defuse carrier as well as his utility potentially being vital. I like how careful NVK is to not move until his teammates are in a better position. Absolutely. Don't compromise yourself while you've got two people busy. Oh, and there you go. He's got one busy. Gonna clean him up. That's now 4v2 advantage for EG. Remember, they only need this one round and potentially these two kills will be more than enough for the team as he knows there's a player to engage behind the desk. Canadian will get one. Shotgun to the face from Thomas as he 360s and goes in for the kill. Looks good, but unfortunately not enough to win it. Young will finish Thomas off, and EXG will drop the game 7-1. Advantage for Evil Geniuses, and again, EG will get the win. Look at the Necrox on top. Yeah, well, okay. I guess a, a role we haven't seen him play a ton of, uh, if I remember right, but uh, definitely something that he plays well. Not too bad. He's, he's an okay player. Yeah, I mean, he was, I mean, I, I don't want to say that he's the, the first one downed, but 12 kills for him. A smoke definitely working not, out for him not, as well. You know, not as good as Rampy, but. 
at this point, that is the bar for the night, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And that wasn't against the slouch of a team or anything. That was definitely against uh, a real tough nut to crack. Mm -hmm.